Here's, of course, Steve Vamos, and Steve comes to us via circuitous route um, through time at Microsoft and Apple and 9MSN. And he was also, of course, the founding uh, president of the Society for Knowledge Economics. He currently sits on the um, board of one of Australia's largest companies, and can, as I, can I say, as a personal Telstra shareholder, I'm very grateful indeed that it's Telstra. Please welcome Steve Vamos. Thank you. Thanks, Cathy. You know, when I think about uh, creativity and innovation, I can't help but go back to um, a teleconference that I was on when I, in my Apple days. And there were about 20 of us around the world on a call to our boss who was based in Cupertino, uh, California. And he was telling us about a new way that we were going to run our business. And uh, the, point, the point of the call was to really let us know. And elements of this new way just sounded completely crazy to all of us. And I can remember questioning and questioning, challenging and challenging until he just lost it. And he screamed out, Steve, don't think, just do. <laughs> and in a sense, you know, for all of you that have ever been told, don't make mistakes or mind your own business, at the end of the day, this is really the rubber, where the rubber hits the road of creativity and innovation. It's at the workplace, and it's about the relationship you have with those you work for and those you work with. And really what I want to do in the few minutes I've got is to sort of shine the light on the sort of elephant in the room that in these conversations we don't talk enough about. And that is the fact that leadership, culture and management practices of organisations in our economy and society are rooted in an age, the industrial age, that doesn't exist anymore. It's changed. It's a connected world, a fast-changing, volatile world. And in fact, you can change creativity and innovation, or creative innovation for skills. In fact, Skills Australia had a conference earlier this week on skills utilisation. Um, they've discovered and put some good work into the fact that you can have lots of skills. The big problem in many workplaces is skills aren't utilised. So they're having a conversation about why aren't skills being utilised? Well, let's look at leadership, culture and management attributes of those organisations. Um, technology, you know, what are we going to do with the NBN and why aren't we getting more value from technology? It's interesting that technology is often blamed for failure, where people will say, well, this technology didn't work, whereas in another organisation, the exact same technology does work. Yeah, and, and in a sense, the common theme here is the theme around change. That when we talk about innovation, we talk about creativity, we talk about new technology and productivity, it's all about change. 